so this will be example number three from slide and uh, in this example we are asked to find out the current through this resistance branch in the past two example our circuit was really simple a series rl circuit but in this example it's a much more complicated circuit and we are asked to find out the current through this branch and the voltage source has this form and we will go through the working rule again the first working rule was to find out time constant and time constant will be L over R equivalent now what will be R equivalent the definition of R equivalent was the equivalent resistance seen from the capacitor terminal so to do that I will put this capacitor terminal there is a 10 ohm resistance here 10 ohm resistance here and when I measure equivalent resistance I short out all the sources so that means this voltage source is zero uh, or in other words this portion is shorted out and uh, here is another 10 ohm resistance and I have to find out the resistance seen from this terminal this has a value 10 this has value 10 and this is value 10 now this is really uh, series parallel mathematics this 10 is in series with this parallel to 10 this parallel to 10 will make a resistance 5 ohm and this 10 plus that 5 ohm will be our equivalent will be 15 so L equals to uh, 0 0.01 over 50 or 1 by tau will equals to 1500 and that gives you your transient solution will be a e to the power negative 1500 t <coughs> now you have to find out the steady state solution that means after switching and uh, doing the phase analysis you have to find out the current through this branch now i will do it in a peculiar way you can do it whatever way you want to uh, i'll first find out the impedance in this branch and all the things are converted into phase domain and the impedance through this branch will be 10 into 10 plus j 3.14 divided by 20 plus j 3.14 that will give me 5.17 angle of 8.5 degree that will be the uh, that will be the impedance of this branch and so the total current supplied by the source will be 1 to 0 root 2 angle of 30 degree divided by 10 plus the impedance of this branch 5.17 angle of 8.5 degree that will give me 11.2 with an angle of 52.9 degree so this current is going through this uh, resistance so the voltage drop across the resistance will be simply this times 10 that means 11.2 here it was so now it will be 112 angle of minus 52.9 degree so the voltage drop across this branch will be the total voltage Vs minus Vr and the answer will turn out to be like this 58.03 with an angle of 35.6 degree and this is the branch across this is the voltage across this resistance so the current through this resistance will be simply this divided by the resistance 10 so that will give me 5.8 35.6 degrees so my steady state solution in time domain will be 5.8 sine of 3140 plus 35.6 degrees now complete solution will be really be summation of transient solution plus plus steady state solution as you can see the transient solution was a e to the power negative 1500t plus steady state solution was 5.8 sine of 3140 plus 35.60 now we really have to use our boundary condition very very carefully now now again i have to go to this first circuit and to use boundary condition i need to know two things at t equals to zero the voltage source value and value at t equals to zero and that we can easily evaluate the voltage source value at t equals to zero will be simply put t equals to zero here 
and that value will be 120 root 2 sine of 30 degree and that will become 84.85 volts and we also have to know what is the current going through this this inductor at t equals to 0 so to know that let's really uh, go to the moment at the t equals to 0 minus at the t equals to 0 minus uh, this this portion was open so it does not include I'll have only something like this Ten, ten, and in phasor domain, this will be three point one four J, and this is what we call one in phasor domain would be one two zero root two angle of thirty degree, thirty degree. So the current going through inductor at the moment of zero minus that means it's before the switching would be one two zero root two angle of thirty degree over 20 plus j 3.14 and that will become 8.38 angle of 21.07 so the equation that governs the current through the inductor before time equals to 0 would be 8.38 sine of omega t plus 21 point sorry this is 5 7 degree and to find out current 0 minus we have to really put 0 in here so that value will be 8.58 into sine of 1.57 degree and it will count turn out to be 3 amps now inductor the current through inductor cannot change abruptly so current through induct inductor even after switching just after switching will also be 3 amps so these two data will be important to evaluate our initial condition or in other words what's the current was what's the current through this branch at the at the time t equals to zero so to do that let's let us convert let us again go to the moment t equals to zero plus now switching had happened and there is a voltage source there is a voltage source the switching has happened there is a voltage source and these resistance inductor and here is a switching portion and now another 10 ohm resistance 10.01 and 10 and this vs value at the time t equals to 0 we have evaluated it already it was 84.85 volt and current through the inductor at the moment t equals to 0 plus we have already mentioned it also il 0 minus has to be equal to il 0 plus so this is 3 and what is our interest our interest is to find out the current through the 10 ohm resistance at the moment of t equals to 0 so to so to do that i can we can apply mesh analysis i'll say this mesh current is i1 and this mesh current is i2 so that gives me i1 minus i2 will be 3 amps that's mandatory because that's what the inductor does the current going through inductor is 3 amp so i1 minus i2 has to equal to 3 ampere and if we apply mesh to the total mesh then that will become 10 i1 plus 10 i2 will be 84.85 volt the value of i2 will be the current at the rate of time t equals to 0 and if we solve this simultaneous equation we will get that i2 equals to 2.74 amps so i of complete solutions value at the moment of t equals to 0 will be 2.74 amps now in our complete solution put t equals to 0 if we put t equals to 0 this portion will have one value a plus 5.8 sine of 35.6 degree and this value has to equal 2.74 amps so the value of a will turn out to be minus 0.64 if you calculate and the complete solution so finally the total solution will be minus 0.64 e to the power negative 1500 t 
प्लस फाइव पॉइंट एट साइन ऑफ थ्री वन फोर्टी प्लस थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स डिग्री तो दैट डू इट हैज टू बी सॉल्व रिमेम्बर टू की थिंग्स इन हेयर द फर्स्ट की थिंग इज टू फाइंड आउट आर इक्विवेलेंट आर इक्विवेलेंट इज ऑलवेज द रेजिस्टेंस सीन फ्रॉम द कैप फ्रॉम द इंडक्टर टर्मिनल एंड द सेकेंड की थिंग इज टू फाइंड आउट द बाउंड्री कंडीशन टू फाइंड आउट द कारेंट Across this resistor at the moment t equals to zero, we have to uh, we have to use two conditions. What was voltage source's value at t equals to zero, and what was the current going through inductor at t equals to zero, and we have put it in the circuit to obtain the current through um, this 10 ohm resistance at the rate, at the moment t equals to zero, and that will be all for circuit number example circuit three.